everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a bit of a makeup review slash try on tutorial thing basically i went down to the crt in london jessica rabbit launch event a few weeks ago if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll have seen that it was a really cool event for their new jessica rabbit range and they basically have released a eyeshadow palette a lipstick and a highlighter all in the name of Jessica Rabbit and the event was to do with being confident and acting like Jessica Rabbit and it was a whole lot of fun. It's in weekly vlog 87 I want to say. Uh, I'll leave the link below if you want to go and check out the event. It was really cool though and while I was at the event they kindly gifted me the range which was so nice of them so I thought you know what I'm going to review this and just have a play with it because hello it's Jessica Rabbit and it looks amazing so let me show you what was in the bag first and as part of the range and then we're going to do a little makeup look with it and a bit of review and yeah just try it on and see how it goes so all of the packaging is this absolutely gorgeous metallic -y pink jessica rabbit collection this is the glitter storm lipsticks that they do in the shade jessica rabbit metallic glitter lipstick i have actually worn this because i could not resist it is beautiful i couldn't not wear it i got it about two weeks ago and i've honestly worn it quite a few times so this is the packaging that it comes in it's very glittery very silver and it's got jessica's signature kind of name on there and it is the most glittery <laughs> almost furry looking bullet you'll ever see it is just beautiful can you see that glitter on there i mean look at it it is super glittery now this has already been on my lips quite a few times like i said so but yeah it's super shiny it has actual glitter in there and this smell oh it's like vin oh, it's really my mouth water it's like vanillary it's so beautiful the smell like it's unreal so yeah i have actually already had this on a few times it's almost like a matte kind of consistency um except it's glittery so it's not like sheer and glittery it's like matte and glittery it has full-on glitter particles in it like when you rub your lips together you can feel the glittery chunks and it's not painful when it's on it's definitely a metallic kind of sheen i'm going to put that on once we've done the eyes and highlighter and finish it off so we will look at that in a second but i'll just quickly show you the other two pieces and then we'll get on with actually trying them out so the next thing in the little goodie bag was the glow to illuminate a powder highlighter and again this is the jessica rabbit one so the name of this is roger darling and that is the package in there and you can see the outline of jessica there oh, i love this whole range jessica rabbit is by far one of my all-time favorite characters like we watched it two nights ago because i was like i just can't stop thinking about it now and i really want to play with the makeup and oh i mean look at this this is the highlighter packaging she is a babe i mean it's just so beautiful and then that is the high light pan in there and look at that outline i mean the detail on this is just unreal and then the last but not least is the eyeshadow palette and it just says the jessica palette and it is the nine shadow eyeshadow palette and again that's the packaging that it comes in oh she's so gorgeous and i'm living for this range and the fact that it's all crt london is cruelty free as well like i'm very excited about this range i was really 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 over the moon when they asked me to go down i was like oh i love jessica rabbit i love makeup it's cruelty free yes please so there's the eyeshadow palette and if we open it it's all like mirrored as well on the back oh you can see you that's how mirrored it is and if you open it up there you can see all of the names there and the palette itself and there's a nice big mirror there so you've got love letter or oh roger sunset boulevard drawn that way patty cake i'm not bad carrot cake toon kisses and honey bunny i mean they're very fitting i love this range i just love the whole vibe of it i love the packaging i adore this lipstick so let's see what the highlight is like because i haven't actually tried it yet and what the eyeshadow is like so i'm going to start Put together an eye look, get the highlighter on and get the lipstick on and show you what it's like and create a look with it. I can already 100% say this is a 100% yes. If you're thinking about getting the lipstick, get this. So let's try out these two.
look i'm actually really happy with it um it's gone a little bit like well let's review it so the lipstick you already know 100 percent i adore it you can just see how gorgeously metallic it is it smells good it feels good i love it the highlighter you can see just buttery like at first i was like really like going for it but then i, I just wasn't seeing the light properly hitting it and then once i did i was like whoa that's actually gorgeous like it's a really nice kind of yellowy kind of whiter highlight and i'm used to using more of a pinky one so this is new for me um, but i really really like it it's really nice i've put it just under the brow bone there as well and it really like blended with the orange shadow really nicely so i'm not the best at makeup like i'm not going to sit here and pretend that i am i have a huge interest in it and my favorite is lipstick i think i know how to apply lipstick like i'm okay with it like i like my liners and i'm good i like my highlighters i'm pretty good with foundation considering i have quite bad acne but eye makeup I'm not so good at and I actually don't like doing my eye makeup. If you follow my weekly vlogs you'll know that most of the time I don't even wear mascara. I used to be good at it when I was younger and it was my thing. I used to have massive lashes, big, big like eyeliner because I have hooded eyes so I have to do it different. So I used to do big eyeliner ticks. And I used to love experimenting with eyeshadow but most of the time it was just a lot of eyeliner and like big lashes i didn't even really used to do lipstick that much because it was all about the eyes then as i got older lipstick is just so much easier and i don't do eyeshadow a lot so i don't really know how good this looks i think by my standards it's okay i'm definitely not an expert i put like some orange right up to the top of the brow bone and then i kind of try to do this sparkly kind of purple one i wet my brush and put it on the eyelid there with a little bit of the white in the middle and then i took it underneath i do like the overall effect but up close it doesn't look that great but i think that's more my skills like i'm not great at eyeshadow i used to be i don't know what happened so it looks great the colors are so pigmented they do blend i, I wouldn't say that they're like most blendable in the world but again i don't know if it's me like i'm not great at eyeshadow so i was kind of finding it hard to get carrot cake to really stick onto the brow like kind of around the brow bone here i don't know if you can see but especially on this eye i did prime but um just with foundation i just kind of foundationed over my eyes so that might be why i didn't clean up this edge which was really stupid of me i don't know why i didn't do that i love how it blended underneath i really do like that effect so all roger the darker purple i do like how that blended underneath i do like that effect i think it's really sultry i do love the colors and i do love the like especially the purple and they are very like metallic -y, especially once i wet the brush and they are very pigmented like honestly I, I have no problems with the shadow it it's pigmented went on the lid even with like minimum primer the more i buffed it the more i blended it it did work i think i had some problems on this eye because of my skin type like I get that with all shadows so I really can't like comment and say that that was the shadow so yeah I'm not the best at doing eyeshadow and I managed to do this and I would 100% use the palette again I had no problems with it I didn't even touch honey bunny or I'm not bad or love letter so I didn't touch these three so yeah I just tried to stick with oranges because like her hair is like red and then I tried to stick with purples because her eyeshadow is purple so I tried to kind of go for that look but yeah I'm not an expert, but by my standards, I really like this palette. I had no problems with it. I think if I prime my lids better next time, then it would blend a little bit more up here. Like I said, that always happens with me though. And for some reason, I always forget to prime them properly. I'm really not very good at this beauty thing, am I? But yes, I like the palette. And you could honestly create quite a good number of looks day, night with this. And the packaging is beautiful. So overall, I really, really, really like the palette. And yeah, maybe hopefully I'll get better at doing eyeshadows and I can actually really tell you guys whether they work but by my standards yeah i like it i mean i like this look i know it's not very expert and yeah i don't know i liked it and yeah i'm gonna definitely use this a lot more i think toon kisses and honey bunny with a little bit of i'm not bad would be a really nice daytime look like honestly it's a very versatile very usable palette i really like it so favorites from the range are definitely the lipstick and highlighter anyway that was my little crt get the look jessica rabbit review slash first impressions honestly love the range highly recommend it really do i'm not just saying that i know i'm not the best at eyeshadow but i think it turned out all right and yeah the highlight and the lipstick especially but those are the things that i like to play with the most and yeah i know what i'm talking about with these i like to think and these yes 
I will leave the links to the Ciate range down below so you can go and check them out. As far as I know, when I checked this morning, they are still all available. Big thank you to Ciate for letting me come down to the event in London. It was definitely by far one of the best events. That dance class and just the whole Jessica Rabbit vibe and the way it was all kitted out, I loved it. And a big thank you to them for gifting me the whole set so that I could have a play. Make sure you go and check out my Instagram version of this video if you want to see how I did the look just within a minute rather than having to watch this whole video again. I'll leave the link to that below. Give this video a thumbs up from me if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!